And I think when you're playing uh, at the top of the field, you need both cars battling. You, know, you need the whole team battling with your nearest rivals. And I think uh, adding to that is the fact that Red Bull have signed Checo Perez, who is a phenomenal talent, great guy, lots of experience. Um, the way he managed his his uh, his electronics failure on the way to the grid yesterday was was marvelous. Um, you know, he what happened uh, was he was on his way on the warm up on the formation lap, and uh, his electronics failed. His car cut out completely. He had no radio, had no comms with the pits, and he wow. managed the process himself. He managed to get that car restarted on his own, where a lot of other drivers would have been like, "Oh well, the car's poked. I'm getting out." Wow. So that's the level at which this guy operates. You know, he's he, he's a he's a proper competitor, and he's got a lot of experience. So I think if you combine that, the fact that you've got the phenomenon that is Verstappen. You've got the talent and the the doggedness that is Perez, who won his first race, uh, final race of the year last year, was his first victory after ten years in Formula One. Um, Perez started the race yesterday from the pit lane, finished fifth. So he's he's a phenomenal driver, and he's getting used to that that Red Bull. So I think Red Bull are a real threat because they've got two very very capable drivers in a car that's closer than it's been to, to Mercedes AMG for a very long time uh, across a number of seasons. They're getting closer. They've proved it in qualifying. The, the, we saw it in the race yesterday, how close uh, Verstappen and Hamilton were. So you've got these two Red Bulls very quick in, in the hands of very capable drivers against sort of one and a half Mercedes Benz, if I could put it that way, because <laughs> Bottas always, isn't always in it. Yeah. No, he isn't always, isn't always in it. And I think uh, it's it's going to be a, a, a very interesting fight throughout the season. And I think this year Red Bull might actually, if they don't win the drivers, they have a very good chance of winning the constructors. Construct.